Jing is a great tool that I think needs to be part of your toolkit. Jing allows you to capture screen captures off your computer or screen casts off your computer, basically movies of what's happening on your screen. It's a great tool, and since it's integrated so closely with Screencast.com, it makes it super easy to share those creations of yours. Let me share with you how you can create screen captures, screencasts, and how you can get the most out of Jing. Now here are five super easy uses for Jing. Number one, create screen captures of different things or different settings on your machine. So if you've got network settings, wireless settings, anything that's uh, happening on your computer screen, go ahead and capture that. And because it makes it easy to share, if you need to share that with uh, somebody else, it makes it real easy to copy this and send it in an email. Now another example is to create a screen cast of what's happening on your machine. So if you ever wanted to uh, teach your mother how to use Skype, it'd be real easy to create a screencast and share that with them. Or if you've got bugs or you're troubleshooting something and you need to share with the developers what's happening, creating and sharing a simple screencast is a very effective way to communicate. Now here's a creative use. The other morning, I was trying to have a, an email exchange with somebody about how I do something with video. I created a video message. I recorded my webcam and spoke to them. So rather than trying to explain everything in an email, go ahead and record your webcam. Uh, and yes, that's how I really look on a Saturday morning. The fourth use of Jing is to go ahead and capture what's happening on your computer so you can use it in other applications. For example, I'm able to capture video off my computer and then bring it into iMovie. Now, if you wanted to bring it into other applications, as long as it can read an MP4 file, you can bring that in and edit it just like any other video. Okay, so here's another real world example. I'm working with a customer and they have some very intelligent subject matter experts. However, they're not exactly screencasting experts. So I put together a process that allowed them to utilize Jing and basically do a brain dump of what they know, get everything out of their head, take that video though, and then share it with other screencasting experts. And it's those experts that can add the pans, the zooms, the tilts, all of the special effects. We're also able to add music and voiceover and make everything sound good. Finally, we brought in graphic artists to make sure that the graphics looked good. So by having everybody work together, we were able to then create some very good looking screencasts from the subject matter experts, raw Jing video. So how do you capture content? It's really easy. Number one, you want to start your capture process. Basically take your crosshairs and select the area that you're going to capture. Then decide if you're going to capture an image or a video. Finally, save your file. Let me show you in these videos how you can capture both images and movies. When you first load Gene, you're going to get this sun feature. Now you can move this uh, to different places on your desktop. So if you wanted it on the left or the right, up or down, you can move it. This first feature here allows you to capture information, and I'm going to explain that in a second. The middle knob is your history, and it allows you to view what you've captured in the past. And then finally, this third one here is the more option. And here, you can go into preferences. You're going to see that you can assign a capture hotkey, a default account for screencasting.com, and your video format. Let me show you how easy it is to capture an image. I mouse over the sun and I select my capture feature. I then get a set of crosshairs that I can come in here and draw a rectangle around the area that I want to capture. I select capture image 
And then I get these editing tools. And this is really nice because this allows me to add editing features where I can add text, I can add call out boxes, and if I wanted to, I could even highlight different parts of the screen. I then want to give this a meaningful name. And if I wanted to, I could post this to Twitter, which is really a neat feature where it automatically uploads it and allows me to send a tweet right from my screen capture. I can save it to my desktop. I could save it to my clipboard or I can post it to screencast.com. And what makes this feature so nice when you're working with images is that it automatically uploads it and it pastes the link to your image right here. So if I wanted to, I could very quickly paste it right into my email message. Now, recording a video is just as easy. Go over to your sign, select your capture tool, and go ahead and select the range you want for your video. And I'm going to select my entire screen right here. I like to get it to be the same size as my finished movie, so I like to go 1280 by 720. Once I have my selection area selected, I choose Capture a Video. The mic comes on, I get my information here, and the scrolling uh, frames here tells me I'm recording video. When I've finished recording, oh, even before I do that, let me show you a couple of options here. I can mute and unmute the microphone. I can turn on my webcam if I wanted to, and I can pause the recording. When I'm finished, I simply hit the finish record button. My video is now ready. Let me give it a name. And what's great here is that with a Pro Jing account, I can upload it to YouTube. I can post a link to it on Twitter. I can save it to my desktop so I can edit this in other video applications, or I can post it to screencast.com. Now let me share a little bit about Screencast.com. Screencast.com is a great service. Now, I encourage you to check this out. You will get two gigs of storage and two gigs of bandwidth for free. So it makes it really easy to upload some screen captures or some really quick screencasts. When you have an account, you're going to get your free one here, but you're also going to be able to get access to your library. And with your library, you can create directories where you can put in different types of, of assets or screen captures or videos and things like that. What makes this so great, though, is that if we come back and we take a look at some of our content, say I have a screen uh, capture here. What this allows me to do is I can set different types of permissions. So number one, if I have a video, I can download it. And that was great in the subject matter expert example that I shared with you. As they create those videos, I can come in here and download it. I also get the ability to share. So if I wanted to send a URL to somebody, here's the URL to that screen capture or video. If I wanted to embed it, I can copy this information right here. If I wanted to email a link to this, I can do it right from within screencast.com. And if I wanted to follow up with some attachments, I could do that as well. Screencast.com makes Jing so much more powerful because it's a great way to share your Jing content. Here are five key tips that'll help you get the most out of Jing. Number one, plan, particularly if you're doing a screencast. I encourage you to create an outline, or in this case, this is the mind map I used for this presentation. Number two is pause. When you're recording a screencast and you need to collect your thoughts, go ahead and invoke the capture hotkey to pause the recording. This allows you to refer back to your outline or mind map so you know what you're going to say. Keep your presentations tight. 
Three, when you record, use a good microphone. I use the Samsung microphone here at my desktop or a lavalier mic when I'm talking on camera. Don't use your internal microphone. It sounds like crap. The fourth key tip, particularly if you're recording anything out of a browser, is to go ahead and resize your browser to match what your desired output is. I like to use 1280 by 720. That's the widescreen high def version. So even if I'm going to YouTube, this is a great way to make sure that what I'm capturing is the same thing that they're gonna be seeing at the same size. And the fifth key tip is that anytime you have text on the screen, if you're recording something out of a browser, enlarge your text size. Zoom in, make it larger. It'll make everything a lot easier to read for your viewers. So in conclusion, Jing is a great tool for your toolkit. I encourage you to really consider the pro version of Jing. You know, for $15 a year, you get better video output and you can upload directly to YouTube. It's a super tool. It's one of my favorite tools. And then when it's combined with screencast.com, it makes it a great way to share all your creations. I hope you got a lot out of this presentation. Until next time, bye-bye.